Hey everybody, good morning. Today on 7 Minutes in the Morning, we're going to talk about how to work less and do more. If that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned. We've got a message for you. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to this installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. And today, all week this week, uh, we've been talking about, um, we've been talking about this week. <laughs> I, this note down here got me all derailed. This week, we've been talking about process. And it, I know when you hear that, you're, you're reaching for the button to click off to something else. But I'm telling you, this will change your life. Folks like Joe Cop and uh, Brooke can be um, witnesses to that. Well, I just can't get the words to come this morning. Need to need another sip of coffee. So, if this is something that's been a challenge for you, how to get more done, how to work less and do more, man, we've got some good stuff for you this morning. All week we're going to be talking about it this week. That's the outcome that we're trying to create. Get more done do less work, reduce anxiety, reduce stress, all good stuff. So if that's something that applies to you, stick to, uh, stay tuned. Be sure and like this page so Facebook will do its part and notify you when I go live. And then if you know somebody else, just one person, think of one person in your life. I bet you can. Think of one person that would like less stress and to be able to get more things done. Tag them in the comments or share this video with them. Let them know about our conversations that are going on. And speaking of comments, whether you're watching live or on the replay, <clears throat> go ahead and drop a comment down there. Say hi. Let me know that you're here. Joe's already said hi. Keith has said hi this morning. Thank you guys for being here. I do appreciate that. All right. Uh, and my bride is here. Good morning, dear. All right. So today I want to talk about work less and do more. And I got a quote that kind of helps uh, help us helps us get our head wrapped around that. If you are too busy to build good systems, then you'll always be too busy. If you are too busy to build good systems, and we can say a process here, if you're too busy to build a good process, then you'll always be too busy. Well, why is that? Well, think about it this way. If, let's say that you had a puzzle, 500 piece puzzle, and all the pieces are spread out on the table, but you didn't have the picture to work from. Could you, could you complete that puzzle? Could you work it? Yeah, probably, but you'd have to figure out what it's a picture of every time. And maybe, you know, you've got, that's one puzzle of 30 that are in a rotation, right? So the next time that puzzle comes around in the rotation, you might remember what it's a picture of, and it, you work it a little bit quick, more quickly, and then the next time it comes around a little bit more quickly, and so on and so on. But every time you're having to make brand new decisions, and, and you never have an actual reference to draw from. You're, all, you're only going from this tacit image that you have in your mind, right? Well, that's what you're doing when you're driving your business or driving your day without a process to help. Right? Without that process to help, you're making it up every time you do it. Now, you might see the same series of events happen over and over and over again. The first of every month, the last of every month, the 15th of every month. And that drives you into a certain behavior. Right, Just like every time you work the puzzle, it gets a little bit easier and a little bit easier. But you're still having to make it up. You're still doing a lot of extra work. Right? So now think about the same puzzle. Let's say you get the puzzle worked, you got it all figured out, and then you take a picture of it. Well, now the next time this puzzle comes around, now you've got a reference to work from. It's much easier to do. In fact, you could give that picture to someone else and let them work the puzzle. And then you would just be there if they got stuck or couldn't tell what this piece was. Well, you say, oh, well, that's this piece. Right? That's the same way that processes work to help you smooth your business and smooth your day. Right? Just having that reference there that this is the plan. 
Now, you know, plans are not cast in stone, thank goodness. We can change them when we need to, but the more things you script, the more processes that you have in place, the less, you know, frontal cortex we have to engage. And that's part of the problem. That's why this is such a problem, because the same part of our brain that is responsible for creative thinking is also responsible for helping us get this stuff done. And so when we have all of this daily stuff that needs to happen without a routine, we're having to think about it, we're not able to be as creative. So you're actually robbing yourself of some creativity time if you don't have that process in place. And the other thing, we talked briefly about it yesterday and I kind of hinted to it this morning, you'll never be able to be successful with employees if you don't have processes. You might be the technician, you might know how to get all the work done, but if you can't write it down and hand it off to somebody else, then every day they have to come back to you and say, okay, Tom, what are we gonna do today? Well, I need you to, to uh, uh, go through the customer files and find people we hadn't talked to in a month. Okay, all right, I've done that. I've got a list now, what? Oh, um, I will, well now let, let's send them an e I mean, you just have to go through this thing over and over again. Or if you have a process, you don't have to do that. Now, here's what we're gonna do to get over that. We're gonna create some results this week, whether you want to or not. <laughs> So I want you to take, I want you to think of something that happens for you. Either, every day would be ideal. And, and uh, oh man, I didn't bring it over here. It's, hang on, I think I can reach it from here. Yeah, so I'm working through this with you also, okay? Just to prove it to you, I'm gonna show it to you. Here is what I put together to document my morning, oops, document my morning routine. Get that turned around right there where you can see it. All right, so I'm working through this process. I've told you many times that I've got a morning routine. I'm working to refine it. And I've got an evening routine there that I'm beginning to build as well. So here's what I want you to do to start creating results for you this week. I want you to find something that happens ideally, happens every day. That's why getting up in the morning, going to bed at night, those are two good ones to start with. If you can script the first, just script the first five minutes of your day and then extend that to the first 10 minutes and then the first 30 minutes. Before you know it, your whole morning is, is kind of on autopilot, right? But take something that happens every day or something that happens every week. It has to have at least five steps to it. I want you to start working on a process for that. On mine, I put down in order what I wanted to do. And, and even this morning, I was adjusting some things and putting them in a different place. And I put timings down by it, right? So it's put a time box on it. We talked about smart uh, goals last week. It has to be time boxed. It has to have a time limit. Put those times down there so you know whether you're on track or not. It has to be measurable, all right? So now here's the real test for you. And, and I'm curious how many of you, yeah, wake up and drink water, Keith says. That's two, you got, you got three more steps you gotta add there, Keith. How many of you will commit to doing this? If, you'll, if you will commit to doing this, I wanna see you raise your hand. Okay, I can see, okay. So now that you're committed to doing it, commit to it in the comments. This is, I am committed to, creating a process to help my morning, to help my email, checking my email to whatever, right? And put that down in the comments. I'm committed to it and this is the process that I'm gonna build. And then together, we're gonna to go through that this week and get that process built for you, all right? Now, after you come up with the five steps, and we'll talk about this some more as we go later in the week, big bonus points if you 80-20 it, right? 80-20, you know what that means, right? So 80% of your results come from 20% of the effort. You're gonna write down a process and then we're gonna go through an 80-20 that process and get it down to, uh, as, uh, what's his name? Joe Friday and Dragnet used to say, just the facts. And get it down to just the pieces that actually make a difference. All right, let's see, did I get everything in there I wanted to? I did. I got it all in today. Today is Tuesday. That means the radio show is on at the top of the hour at 8 o'clock Central Time. So I have about 50 minutes to get packed up and get moved over there and do the radio show. We're going to talk, we're going to have an extended conversation about process today. 
uh, on the radio show, so be sure and join me. You'll get a little peek into what we're going to talk about the rest of the week. Uh, but your comments there are very beneficial to me also. All right, so let's speaking of comments, let's get back through here. Get some good mornings in there. Good morning, Joe, Vicky, Keith, uh, Jeremy. Good morning. Good to see you too, man. All right, so uh huh. If you're too, okay, so that's good. Vicky put the quote in the comments for us. If you're too busy to build a process, you'll always be busy. Remember, I, I gotta have that process in order to relieve some of those mental cycles. Joe says the difference between effectiveness and being busy is built with competence and efficient workflow and processes. I, I believe that, and I, we're going to add some stuff to that this week, Joe, so be sure and stay tuned in for that. Uh, I think you'll be interested in the things I want to add to that, but I think you're right on track. Joe also says don't try to force a square peg into a round hole. Limited experience can have an effect with process and goal achievement. Absolutely. Absolutely. Remember, risk is... Um, is relative. It's our perception of risk. And the more that we build experience, the less risky those things feel, the less difficult those things feel as we build our experience. So that's why I want you to start with a five-step process, something simple and something you do every day. That'd be a great way to get started um, to build some experience with process and get more comfortable with it. Yeah, so, oh, well, now, see, Vicky's giving me more stuff to do. Write an app. <laughs> Write an app for mental notes to get it out of my head. You can see back here on the uh, on the whiteboard, that's my app for getting it out of my head. Um, and, boy, just as I said that, uh, I, oh, no, here they are. They're right here. <clears throat> Within arm's reach, just barely, right, is a little sticky note that I can use to add things to the board and then go back and put them where they need to go. That's a talk, that's a conversation for another day though. Uh, we'll definitely talk about that as well. Thank you for being here. Remember the radio show is coming up uh, at the top of the hour. Look forward to seeing you there. Is that it? I think that's it for today. And uh, if you can't make the radio show, at least make it back here tomorrow, seven o'clock for another installment of seven minutes in the morning. I will talk to you then. Have a terrific Tuesday.